I've never considered myself deeply religious. I believe in freedom. And because of that, I believe people have the right to believe what it is they want to believe and believe it in the manner that they see fit. However, something happened recently that offended me to my very core. I'm not going to call them out publicly. I'm not going to put them on blast. And I'm not going to use names. However, I don't have any choice but to say my piece. Even though more than likely, it isn't going to make a damn bit of difference. The Lord doesn't want to be your business model. Jesus doesn't want to be a strategy. The Holy Spirit doesn't want to be a cash cow. If those are the foundations of a church, and make no mistake about it, if you're preaching to the masses His words, you're building a church. If that's the case, then that church is built on the wrong foundation and the message is corrupted before it even starts. The argument could be made, it doesn't matter how you bring them to the Lord, as long as you bring them to the Lord. Nothing could be further from the truth. You're not bringing them to the Lord. You're not giving them religion. You're bringing them to yourself for your self-benefit. That, by its strictest definition, is a cult, not a church. Because who's ever speaking those words is putting themselves above the word itself, and by doing so, putting themselves above the Lord. And because of that, corrupts the very word itself. I will not and cannot participate in something like that, even if there's something to be gained for myself because of it. I can't deny that it takes money to grease the wheels to get things done, but the motivations behind it have to be pure or the message itself is corrupted and the organization itself is corrupted. And those who spawned it and promoted it will have to answer for it in the end. And it doesn't matter how well you speak. It doesn't matter how learned you are in the chapter and verse of what I call the manual and the rest of you call the Bible. Because the original motivation behind the entire thing are the wrong ones. In my opinion, our souls are put upon this earth to take a test, and I have every intention of passing that test because I am not coming back here to do this again.